I'm more trying to advocate towards to women go and do strength training go and be stronger not go and be like puros okay so because a lot of I think it's uh, still the stigma in in our uh, in Malaysia in our society that oh when you take the dumbbell or you take strength training you become bulky guys won't like you don't think about what guys like think about what you like Losing weight is not a straight road. Definitely, it's not a straight road. It has to have consistency. It has to have a determination. And some people might go out of the way, like uh, astray from the path of consistency. Because we are normal people. We are human beings. To be honest, I've gained weight uh, after MCO. My best weight was during MCO, because for me, during MCO, I'm able to take care of my food. <laughs> And also, I always work out at home. But after um, MCO lifted, and then we can go to physical gyms and go outside eat, and then go vacation. <laughs> About maintaining the weight is 80% is coming from what you eat. 20% is coming out of your active lifestyle. So I'm able to sustain my active lifestyle, but my 80% of what I eat is not as per my MCO. My struggle has always been food, because I love food. Exercising is easy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, exercise is something I love. It's become it's already routine. But food, when it comes to food, is always a struggle, not just for me, I think for most of people outside. You need to know the reason why you gain weight. You need to know how, how you gain, how you lose, how you maintain. You need to know the basic of what your body needs. I'm always struggling with my weight issues. I have like an up and down weight. I, when I first started, I was um, heavyweight when I was in high school and then I start to lose down when um, during my college years, uh, before pre-college years, gain again during college years and then lose back uh, during work years. So it's like up and down, up and down. The first time in my life was three digits was in college years. I was like 115 kgs back then. The last time I came back, I was like, everybody was shocked. Is this UE? What happened to you? What happened to you? I mean, come on, college years. <laughs> you just want to have fun. No exercise. You eat a lot. When I came back, I realized that um, it's taken a toll towards my body. What I meant by taking a toll is that I feel tired all the time. And then when I start to drive, I always have a back pain, lower back when driving, when sitting for a long time. In general. I, in general. It hurt so much that I feel like I want to cry. It was so bad. And I thought I, I got slip disc. But then it's because of how my lifestyle was, because back in the States, I always on my bed doing my work, like baring, laptop ke atas. My lifestyle is always on the bed. So that's the reason why whenever I start to walk or whenever I start to sit down straight, it's taking a toll at my lower back. That's the point where I feel like, oh, this is the reason why we need to exercise. Because back then, when in the teenage years, the reason why I exercise is a simple, stupid, <laughs> stupid, young decision. Because I had a boyfriend and I feel like I need to be thin because of my boyfriend. So that is a very, it's not a good uh, goal to set. Because when you set a goal that is for, by, for someone else, if you reached it, you cannot sustain it. So whatever goal that you want to set, it's better to set it to yourself. Can you set yourself accountable? I've been through a fitness journey that I only eat one time a day. I only eat chapati a day. I've been there. It was no knowledge. It was during the time that uh, internet was not big yet. From 100 kgs, I managed to get like set, set 68, 69 kgs. Wow. Yes, before high raya. So for, for the first six months, I didn't go with sugar, I didn't go with carbs, and it actually gave a lot of benefits towards my body. I work out nearly uh, most of the days. I took care of my food. I prep meal. Don't feel bad. Food is still food. It's what you want to eat, it's just how you control. So when I found a classes that really dare to help and help me to improve myself in terms of getting better in each of the exercises, I keep with that, with that class. 
and that is where I actually I gain a lot of my experiences mm. on teaching classes, on doing workouts, formats, from actually going to different boutique classes. Because when I started, I don't have any background. I want to have a, a, a comfortable platform for women to do exercise. Because I'm still opening up with the men, but not necessarily focus on them. More on ladies' classes and strength training. I'm more trying to advocate towards to women, go and do strength training. Go and be stronger. I think it's uh, still the stigma in, in our uh, in Malaysia, in our society that, oh, when you take the dumbbell or you take strength training, you become bulky, guys won't like you. Don't think about what guys like. Think about what you like. It's all about you. You don't have to think about other people what they want you to be. It's more about what you want you want to, you want to be. Those are myths. Those are myths because it's not easy to get that bulky. It's a lot of steps. When you do strength training, not necessarily you will be bulky if you don't take care of your food intake. That mindset of being fat whenever you try to take food is a bad is a bad image towards the food. So, what would you advise then? It depends on individuality actually because certain people is really hard when they have this bad image of food already implemented in themselves for quite some time. Because I know I deal a lot of different people. I've met a person that is vegan. They're scared to eat meat because they're scared they're going to be fat. So I met people who have a, a eating disorder which is they eat and they're out because they're scared to be fat. Uh, why well, I've seen that, the reason why they become like this because there's a diff, there's a behind meaning or behind struggles that are, they're going through. Maybe some stress issues, family issues that made them lead towards that. So I can see that it's different people, different way of handling. It's just that if you want to start changing the mindset of food is bad, you have to start with yourself, whether you love yourself or not. Tak ada history lah. Uh, ada masalah kesihatan yang kena uh, aktif dan kena susutkan saiz. Kali ini pernah 98 kilo. Uh, sekarang ni 50, 57 kg di usia 48 tahun. Dia punya Eli ni dia punya uh, movement dia dengan uh, skirt dia dia sangat spicy loh. Dia sangat wow. Dia sangat walaupun kita rasa macam kita kita rasa debar sebut nama dia coach Ili kita dah rasa macam debaran tu tapi kalau kita, dia dia nya kelas sangat best lah memang di nanti nanti but then i follow dia punya uh, apa ni every step yang dia dia post kat IG kan you work out uh, step workout kan so i try buat tu buat eh kata best lah uh, all level boleh ikut like beginners intermediate and advanced advanced sorry boleh ikut uh, sebab dia ada uh, ni uh, dia punya workout tu macam dia it's not like simple tapi yang paling penting kan form yang Ili tunjuk tu bila you dapat the right form and then you akan dapat uh, the right uh, ni lah uh, attack masa yang you nak kan eh. 